Okay. I mean, you're not just going to buy chests this week, right? You're going to buy chest and something else. I think that's the, the clear takeaway. I mean, I would have I would have eyeballed chest anyway, right? That's what I said at the start. I think it's going to be chest and either shoulder or gloves. I think the shoulders are a better strike because they have spirit on. <clears throat> it's basically spirit versus haste. So I think it's going to be chest, shoulders. I mean, this is this is ir irrespective of spec right now, right? I think we should be priorizing spirit items over everything as our early purchases, right? Or items that, you know, by proxy give us more spirit. So like, for example, the cloak will put us at spell pen cap, right? So look, let me mouse over cloak here. Uh, what am I doing? Yeah. Okay, so cloak here. Let's make this smaller. Uh, middle. Sorry. Forgot I wasn't showing. There we go. So cloak is 23 pen extra, right? Cloak is kind of unique, so it's kind of awkward to compare, but in terms of stam, int, and resil, it's the same as the other 1250 items, right? It's only the pen that's different. Now, what the pen is equal to is the glove socket which is going to end up being, it will be switched out. And instead of Brazil pen, it's going to be int spirit, right? So it's minus, minus 20 Brazil, but it's 20 int and it's 20 spirit, right? That's what it ends up being when you swap that gem. That's the value of it, right? You, you lose five resi, you gain 20 spirit, you gain 20 int from the gem, but you gain 23, you know, you get the flat stuff from the item as well. So let's actually see what that turns into terms of waiting for the points. Obviously the res is bad because everything else is kind of gaining res. And this is where it kind of comes down to like, do you value the res more? Do you value, value the regen more? And how much do you value them compared to each other? And that's a really hard question. That's a really, really hard question. Like how do you, how do you, how do you weight spirit versus res and, and come out with an actual number and say this much spirit is worth this much res to me. That's just, that's, that's, like an almost impossible question to answer that you could only answer by having a big data set of games, right? And saying, how many of these games would I have lived with that extra res? How many of these games would I have, you know, saved some of the extra spirit? It's 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 a very, very hard question. You need a huge data pool, some super fucking advanced, like, data scrubbing to fucking even, like, get any value out of it, you know? So... You'd have to be looking at the combat log for all those games, looking at how many of those games you actually dropped to a certain HP and whether or not you would have been able to recover even after going to that HP. You know, it's like, it's it's insanely hard. Uh, you know, you can eyeball it and that's going to give you your best best idea. But yeah, getting an actual number for Brazil versus Spirit is really fucking hard. So we are going to sort of almost ignore it. But yeah, the... The spirit gain is obviously pretty comparable, honestly, to, to all these other items, even with the, the gem. But it's also, that's on top of everything else, right? It's kind of a bonus, this. So the Brazil almost is, is not a factor in the item in this regard. And you still have your three, one, two, three things that you gain. But the spell, like, the spell pen, again, is kind of, like, negated by the fact that, you know, you've got a gem instead. So the good part about it is the int, right? This is, like, a double boost. The stam is about the same as everything else as well. So that's fine. But yeah, the int is like double-ish. Uh, for example, the wand, uh, the main hand, um, and the other items, I guess. So it's it's kind of like doubling up on int at the cost of Rizzle. So if they don't go on you, it's super good. If they do go on you, it's not as good, right? You want to try and get the helm and legs in one go because ideally you will have the Valor legs, which means you can run Mooncloth uh, Bloodthirsty Helm here. I need to get some more honor for that, but yeah. We also need to farm the legs, but that's that's the idea there, I would say. If you do that, you will have a high item level in your legs for free. And as long as you can make up for it with resilience el elsewhere, you're going to have a net gain in stats. And then when you get the to the point where you want to grab the legs, you grab the helm and the legs in the same go. And that was is going to cost you four 400, so you'll need 400 extra points that week. So that could be a play, but I think that's kind of a late play, honestly. Like that's a week six kind of thing, I'd say. So that's, I mean, you don't have to buy the helm ASAP, actually, regardless. But the helm doesn't drop in Baradin Hold, so it is nice to buy it sooner rather than later. However, it gives you haste, not spirit. So I think the, the helm is like your priority after you bought your other spirit pieces, or spirit uh, pieces that give you a spirit net gain. So I think gloves and boots are the next best. Belt gives you hit, which means that you don't need to reforge the weapon, but I'm not sure what you're going to be reforging. Likely you'll be reforging health, ha haste away. So I don't think belt gives you a net gain in, in spirit. So I think these are going to be your next pieces in week three. Something like that. Which one would it be? It would be these. 
However, wait, how much do you have in week three? In week three, you're going to have 50 points left over. Is that going to be enough? So here, you're going to have, you're going to buy leftovers. This is going to be your week one, right? Your week one spend equals, wait, total is going to be equals this plus this leftovers. 150 equals 4,000 minus this. Okay. So we're going to have 150 going into the suite. We're going to get 4K. So we're going to be on 4,150. Yeah. Wait, this is how much it costs, isn't it? We're going to be we're going to be spending 4,100. I don't know how to, how to visualize this nicely, actually. Is this can we can just do equals this minus this. And then points is going to be 4,000. It equals 4,000. It's still like that. Plus leftovers yeah and then leftovers is just this again minus this that's better so we're gonna have a week here where we want to pick up i'll quickly look at the bracer value i think these will all be very similar value maybe the belt is gonna be slightly different but uh la, 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 la. where is it ring so ring is this one no it's not it's gonna be over here ring is tw 34 stam 23 int 15 result and then hit is over here. It's going to be 15 hit. Now, 15 hit essentially translates to 15 spirit, right? After reforging, because we're going to stay at the hit cap. So gaining hit doesn't actually do anything, right? We will stay at the hit cap and then the the, the hit will be reduced via reforging and then that will be reduced into spirit. So that the hit, we can actually just delete, I think, and we can just put 15 spirit. That's essentially what it is. Um, on the items, the hit is the same as the spirit, right? 134 crit. 134 spirit, 134 hit, it's all normalized. So we can actually do that for braces as well. I believe the braces is just all exactly the same. Wait, are there no hit braces? That would make things interesting. Or are they elsewhere? No, they're here. Okay. I was going to say, this is just like casually no hit braces. That would be fucking weird considering I did abyss list with them. Uh, yeah, so the hits, it's all the same. So that, again, it translates into the spirit, all good. Belt is, okay. So the, I mean, we're seeing the same numbers popping up again and again, right? So it's going to be this. And then it's going to essentially be the same as these items up here, right? In terms of actual value, we're going to see, uh, da, 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 da. we're actually going to do it here. So now fucking formatting this divided by this and this divided by this. Oh, fuck. And last one is this divided by this. That's literally what I'm doing right now. You know, well, bro. Uh, okay. So yeah, we don't really need to see anything else. Um, Again, the numbers are very similar to everything else. They all kind of come out at the same with these 0 0.27 numbers in around the same ballpark and same for red. Red is actually a little bit down, actually, compared to the... Um, ah, it's not that much, but it's, it's a little bit lower than the big pieces. But we knew that much anyway. The big pieces were very good for res. But yeah, I think that's going to be a... Wait, let me check, check compared to the gloves. Are the gloves worth picking? The gloves will not give us spirit, right? The gloves have haste on. So I actually think that the gloves can come down because, yeah, okay, we can reforge some of the haste into spirit, but it's not going to be as much. So I think, can we do, we can't do all three of these in this week, can we? So how do we get close to 4200? What's the closest we can get to it? Could we do belt? Wait, let's make this wider again. So this is going to be this plus this plus this. So this is going to take us above, right? It does not like, so that's way too much. So I think the, the annoying thing here is boots are nice. What if we take belt out? Is that going to be nice for us? Be nice to us. Wait, why is it doing D24, D20, bro? Or 150. That looks good. That looks really good. Something like that would be ideal, I think. Because that's perfect now, right? That's equals this minus this gives us our 50 leftovers, which is perfect. So that's a nice week, actually. So we get the boots, which are a good pickup. They've got spirit on and they're a mid item. And then ring and braces, which are both hit items, but they translate into spirit, which is awesome. Any advice for living against DK? Get peels. Trinket strang. Right. So if we've got 50 points left over, our budget this week is 4050. What can we get? Nothing really amazing. Belt and gloves. Belt is obviously worth some spirit. Gloves is not worth as much. Could we do... We could do belt and then legs. I think belt is, is a, a sure thing. Now legs would mean if you buy the legs, you switch out your Valor legs and you put on Satin Helm from Honor. Helm, obviously it doesn't drop in Baradin Hold, but we can't put that on until the PvE legs are off. 
which means we need to have these, or we use the bloodthirsty ones, but that's not really worth, right? Then we're losing eye level. So I think Helm stays last, ahead of Trinket, of course. Uh, legs is going to be here. Now, the question is, do we switch the legs before the gloves? I think, actually, the legs are a more valuable piece to switch than the gloves. I think we do it like this. Because this is a better point spend, right? Otherwise, we're spending very low points. This is nearly... We're nearly on that 4k. So we've got a decent amount of leftovers here, which equals... Yeah, 200 points left over. Cool. And then the last two weeks are going to be this. So this is going to be for 200. The spend is going to be this plus this, which is 3850 equals this minus this. And we're going to have 350 left. And then the last week is going to be for 350. And we just buy the trinket. We can buy, you know, BM trinket maybe as well, just because it's probably a good shout to have it. Optional trinket, second trinket, 1650. So the spend is going to be three three hundred with one hundred fifty left, and then the week after you can get you know some other trinkets as well because it allows you then to get the Brazil trinket, you know the the spirit trinket, all these other things. You can get BM trinket, you can get proc trinket, all this good shit. So then you're kind of freed up to do what you want, which is cool. So that is how it's going to look. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm, I'm going to send some twos now. So it's eight weeks to get fully geared. I will organize that again later, but. Yeah, good enough. For now, we've done the actual calculations. Cool. So, TLDR. Chest, sh chest and shoulders first week uh, are going to be your biggest point upgrades. Uh, give you some nice spirit. Then second week, main hand, offhand, wand. Once you unlock the enough conquest. Third week, cloak. Uh, ring two, which is essentially spirit ring. And neck with the spirit on it. Main hand, offhand, elite in week four. Uh, and wand, of course. Week five is boots. Ring one, which is your hit ring. And braces, which is here as well, but then obviously you can reforge elsewhere to get the spirit, which is why we've got the spirit in the column here. Week six is belt and legs, because the belt is again giving hit, which translates to spirit. The legs is going to be, you're going to be switching out your valor legs, which you can use normally um, once you buy them, the, the tier legs. And then once you have the tier legs, of course, you do this, you can do this as early as, as you like. You switch on the Mooncloth Helm to complete your four set. Uh, otherwise, you'll be running Saturn Helm. Then so about week six, you're going to switch those legs out and you're going to get the PvP legs. So you're going to put the Saturn Helm back on from, from Honor. Week seven, you get the gloves. And then finally, you're going to get your epic Saturn Helm. And then week eight, you can buy whatever trinkets or other optional items that you want. So you can grab, you know, haste neck could be good as well. Um, potentially some other haste parts, maybe haste boots, those kind of things. So that you can, you know, play shadow or get, you know, a bit more bonus from, from playing shadow rather than being over hit cap due to the spirit, things like that. Uh, so yeah, that's good enough for now. This doc will be in the Discord channel for subs if you want it. But yeah, that is going to be your eight weeks of point spend as Disc Priest.